Hi, this is Rich Golds from Productive Project Solutions. Here's a quick tip in case you're ever worried about someone deleting a row from one of your sheets and not finding out about it until it's too late to do something about it. So let's have a look. So in the automations gallery, there are a whole pile of templates. And one of the ones which is here, hidden away, is about alerting someone when a row is deleted. And so what this enables you to do is exactly that. You can set up a trigger to alert people when a row is deleted. As simple as that. So let's have a look inside this one. So if I use the template, all I need to do is say alert row deleted, give it a name, and it already says what it's going to do, alert someone when a row is deleted. And do I want to do this on a daily basis? I probably want to know instantly, or as instantly as the automations will let me know. And who do I want to know? Now, on this one, you can do it to a Slack channel, to Teams, to everyone shared on the sheet, etc., or to specific people. So just for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to send it to Demo Productive on that basis. And I'm going to say, warning, oops, spell it right, warning, row deleted from demo sheet. Now, one thing to flag is that this doesn't work because it's not going to tell you exactly which row has been deleted, but that's fine, you know, on, on the basis that there are a few ways around that bit. So let's go and have a look on this bit. So I'm going to press save and it has been created. And again, alert row deleted. So I'm going to delete one I've already got up and running or deactivate that one. So let's go back and see what happens when I delete a row. So here we are, row 301. What I'm going to do is I am going to delete it and I'm going to save that bit. Now you can see I've got no flags coming up at the moment, so that will trigger in due course. Whilst we're waiting for that to come up, I'm going to show you some here that I prepared earlier. So let's go and have a look. So what's going to happen on this bit is you're going to get an email which will come through and the email which will come through to say is one row has been deleted. So you get the row deleted alert or whatever you've called it, um, but you don't have any further information about it. So what I recommend in that case is at least you're aware it's happened and then you can immediately go back to the sheet and then have a look at the sheet and go, well, what has happened here? So if we go to the activity log, you can go in and you can see, oh, a row's been deleted and that's the situation here. So again, if I press request snapshot, that's going to give me a snapshot of the whole sheet. So that's not as much use um, as it stands at the moment. If you want to see oh, what's, what's been going on here, row changes, all you can do is you can apply that one and you can see all these that have been deleted and then you can request a download for that bit. So I'm going to say yes and it's going to create a download and I'll receive an email when that is done and through. So I'm going to press close here. So if I go back to the email, again, I did this slightly before. So I downloaded a snapshot. Again, that's just a snapshot of the whole file. What you want is the activity log. So you receive an activity log and what it has is the link and you, so you download that bit. So that will download it as a zip file and it'll come through something like this. So here's the example from earlier and it shows you which rows have been deleted. You can see I've been doing a few tests before doing this video and then you can see what was deleted. And so you've got the information here. So whilst it's not exactly in the format of all the columns, again, you'll be able to work out how to recuperate that information on that basis. So it's a way better than having nothing and not knowing what was deleted on that bit. And again, there are ways of formatting this information when you know what the format is if you've got to do this. But hopefully it's a one-off, you have rows locked and things like that and special measures and only your admins or all the right people can delete the rows. Um, but if you ever want to go and capture that one or you've lost important information, this is a great thing to have up and running on the basis that, again, on the basis that when that comes through, you should know pretty fast that it's come through. So you can see in this case, notification has just come through and it says warning, row deleted from demo sheet. So that's the one which just came through. So here we are, that's the information, but there's no more information about it. Hence my recommendation to go in and see a bit more information. So again, let's just refresh. Has it come through onto my email here? Maybe, maybe not, not come through. So again, quite a useful feature. You get that simply by going to your create workflow from a template, press on that, and it's down here at the bottom. So trust that's been useful. I'll keep on sending some tips through
on my YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Bye for now.